Just scoot back just a little if you don't mind. Great, perfect. Greetings folks, this is Jason at the 2019 NAMM Show, day three, the crazy Saturday. I'm here at the EBS booth with the one and only. Oh, my name is Billy Sheehan. Indeed it is. Billy, you've got to be the hardest working bass player in hard rock going around, mate. Well, my hand is a little numb from autograph signing, but uh, <laughs> that's only uh, a reflection of the wonderful people that are kind enough to ask me, so I'm very, very grateful. Well, you do have a lot of fans who love you dearly. I, I love them. I love them more. Um, so now you've got a new pedal out here with EBS that I is do. being launched here at NAMM. And here it is right here. Look at that. In a beautiful sonic blue. We're not sure that's going to be the final color because this is a prototype. Any product that comes out, you have to give the do the prototype first, check it out, make a few tweaks. So this in its present state is the beginning. Uh, it has some incredible features. It has a switchable uh, frequency for the mid-range control. The basic idea behind the pedal is when you're a bass player and you want some distortion, Distortion removes all the low end, Correct. so it doesn't sound right. So this passes a normal bass tone, and then you mix in how much distortion you want. Oh, so you can you, you got a mix control, like literally. Exactly, so you can do a little sizzle on the top, a little deep low end, like Jack Bruce style. Uh, it's very versatile. Also, inside the chip that does the distortion, is replaceable. So you can find another chip that does distortion in a different way, stick it in there, and you've got yourself a complete amazing signature sound. So this pedal, is, this is its third iteration. The other two prior to this have been incredibly successful. And many bass player friends of mine, they've, uh, this has served them well, and I'm very pleased about that. That's, that's really cool. So a Billy Sheehan signature pedal that can have their own signature sound. Exactly right. Well, well why, you know, you don't need me. So well, do your own thing. But nobody has your fingers, mate. Like, maybe you and no, Steve Harris are, like, un unbelievable. Well, every musician has their own unique DNA uh, on the, that they do their sound. And, you know, everyone has a, has a sound. Whether you like it or not, everybody's got their own sound. So that's good. So this will enable you to uh, pursue that a little bit more vigorously. Very nice. Now, just real quick, because it's going to happen tonight. This video won't get released for a couple of days. Tell the folks about what is planned and happening tonight, because then, like again, it's not going to be released till after it happens. Well, uh, the Ultimate Jam Night is a very special night. Uh, musicians from all over uh, jam at it. Uh, usually, it happens in Hollywood every Tuesday, but at the NAMM show, we do one here. This year, uh, I'm uh, very pleased to say I'll be playing with uh, all of my Eat em, Smi Eat em and Smile buddies: Steve Vai, Greg Bissonette, Brett Tuggle. We're going to get Jeff Scott Soto, who uh, works with me, a fabulous singer in Sons of Apollo. And we're going to do some uh, songs together as the Eat Em and Smile Band, first time in about 33 years. <laughs> that's amazing, man. That's good. For anybody out there that doesn't get to go, you might be able to find some clips on YouTube after it's done, but that's going to be amazing. Yeah, there's a couple of live stream apps that uh, I'm sure someone, someone will archive it. And especially having Jeff Scott Soto playing with you. He's such a monster singer. He's, he does a great David Lee Roth, too, and he's a dear friend. And uh, he sings in Sons of Apollo and really makes that show amazing. I just don't think he can do the high kicks like Dave. Uh, you never know. The night is young. <laughs> Billy, always good to see you, mate. Thank you, Jason. All right. Rock on. <laughs>